storms later tomorrow afternoon. So let's get through the overnight and into tomorrow morning with future track. Watch as this cold front begins to work its way through here. It starts to stall right over top of us. So the Treasure Coast early in the morning tomorrow about 2 3 o'clock starts to see a few more scattered showers. By the time you wake up about 6 7 o'clock in the morning, still looking to be dry at the moment, but you could see a stray shower. Better chances for storms will redevelop into the afternoon tomorrow and into the evening once again all across South Florida as that system begins to move through here. So we've got the chance for storms through the overnight. Nothing severe, but a few strong storms cannot be ruled out. Temperatures drop to 68 degrees. That southwest flow sticks with us for tomorrow, giving us that chance for a few storms mainly into the afternoon. Highs will top out at 85 degrees. Here's your boating forecast. We've got the chance of storms. Seas pick up a little bit, two to three feet. We've got a small craft advisory and a light chop on the inland waterways. Winds out of the southeast to add five to ten knots. Here's South Florida certified most accurate forecast. Yes, we've got the chance for rain tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday as that second cold front works its way through here. The first one doesn't do much in the way of temperature, but it does bring the chance for rain. The second one brings the chance for rain and cooler temperatures. So we top out folks Monday and Tuesday in the upper 80s. Yes, it's going to be hot and humid, but the cool front works its way through here. And notice we go from the upper 80s down into the low 80s by the end of the week and into the weekend. Then we're right back up for next weekend in the upper 80s. <laughs>